Welcome back, everybody. Well, this uh, <laughs> these matches move fast. <laughs> they do. <laughs> um, looks like uh, Snarf has already almost got it over the hill on the final map, which is crazy because it's been so it's evenly crazy. matched. Yeah. But like, and you guys had the disadvantage this time, I think, because of uh, the I think they were even. Oh, even one. because of the. Yeah. Yeah, but um, if someone oh gets his man. head start on wow. these, though, it's yeah. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Ouch! Snarf did not shit the bed. That's what happened. So we missed it on that, but at least I guess we're gonna go straight into the third round and final round, and this will decide it for the night. It's a dry night for Snarf. A dry night. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be the uh, final match coming up here. Starting from the first map, once again. <clears throat> Teams should really have found their stride by now and found their yeah. niche. Hopefully we've got some good team captains. We, we, don't, we can't hear the voices, but they are most likely communicating with each other and deciding what to do here. Screaming furiously at each other Yeah. for more hustle. <laughs> Snarf has a medic and a spy. They've got... Uh, Couple soldiers, a pyro to do some spy checking on the cart. Care of twitches. Total nonsense as a heavy. We've got the dirt push coming up here over the hill. <clears throat> Two very strong pushes to start off. Snarf has a little bit of an edge, but not much. Oh, Derp's pushing back. Very even. <clears throat> very even here. It looks like Derp might have the edge, except those heavies survived. Surprisingly, I was going to say Derp had the edge because of all the meds they had, but those heavies survived with, uh, without much help, it seemed. And now we got just two soldiers remain pushing the Snarf cart just past the Derp cart. A scout with a soda popper coming in from above. No, that's, that's, a, uh, that's not the soda, that's the gun. The four-barrel four uh, mm. little pistol. Yeah. Um, Derp's coming back, but, ooh, that was a little bit of an ill-fated, uh, group they had there. A lot of weak classes and not much support. But a heavy from above. There's your support. Ah, little, little late. Little late. <laughs> but it's gonna be okay, because I think they can do this on their own. Two medis ooh. healing one demo man. If that demo man's good enough, he's gonna take out that, uh, <clears throat> that, that, uh, heavy without much trouble, which he does with the help mm -hmm. from, uh, a Derp soldier from above, wielding a black box. We've almost got the carts evened up again. Um, even though Snarf seems to be quite a bit further, it feels like anywhere in this uh, area is even, really. Anything yeah. can go. Um, as long as this, this middle spot is the battleground, there's not much anxiety to be felt from being behind. Let's see. We got a mini sentry just popped up by this, uh, this NG, but it doesn't last long. He's going to try again with it right there, which gonna do much help except for surprise some guys as they come out from here I guess um, but that's the beauty of a mini sentry you don't have to really care how yeah, much stock you, you put don't into invest much time in it yeah because it's gonna be dead soon and then you'll put and another one out <laughs> and another one up got a sniper trying to pin guys off with his bow still can't figure out that bow yeah I'm not good. I don't think I ever want to Carpal Tunnel totally doesn't lend itself to small adjustments in your aim. It's not not an ailment that uh, <coughs> is good for precise precision control. Uh, waiting for people to push these carts. They all seem yeah. content in killing each other. Yeah. And why wouldn't you be? There There's we go. Push. There's a dirt push. Oh, the scout touched it, but he didn't want to get killed by these, he these uh, soldiers, so he decided to go close range. Which is always good to go against soldiers in close range when you're a scout. Soldiers do not like that. Not only are they hurting themselves with their rockets, but uh, you're hard to hit with their rockets when you're close up. Yeah. Um, we've got a double heavy push coming for Derp. <clears throat> also trying to pr protect in the tunnel here. It's a little bit of a dangerous little area asshole. being in the t tunnel as a defending class. And as an offensive class. The <coughs> tunnel is, you know... Uh, it's just Oh, so much we've got a we've, splash area. We've got a bonked up uh, scout trying to uh, make his way to the front lines here. Have you ever used bonk, bonk cola? Uh, never. You know what it does? Have you ever uh, seen those uh, scouts that have like a streak of blur going behind them? Once you drink bonk cola, it makes it so that you can't take hits. You can't. You can't take hits. You can't hurt people either, though. So it's a good way to oh, um, just be an get, asshole. Get past 
like okay, to get yeah, from yeah, the other yeah, side yeah. of a battlefield to the other. Or um, uh, uh, this takes a bit of skill, but a good scout will dis um, coordinate with his team and distract a turret while they take oh, it out. So you send the scout yeah, in first, good... it gets a bead on him, and it won't stop aiming at him until until he dies. That would be really useful. Yeah, so if the scout just st st keeps on like running around and distracting yeah. the turret, you can like sometimes <laughs> easily take it out. Mm. It takes a lot of team coordination to do that, though, because you have to tell them way ahead of time what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Snarf's got the edge here. Yeah, it looks like it. A little bit of a derp push, but I'm not going to really pay attention until they push. Ah, maybe I'll go to derp side. Let's see here. Not having much luck getting over to derp side. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> I'm not liking these angles. <laughs> All right. Well, let's watch through somebody's eyes for a bit. Derp, trying to push to the front, trying to defend on his way up. Blown back. Puts on the, uh, have you ever used these gloves? <laughs> no, I haven't. They make you run faster, but they, uh, they take six damage, you take six damage per second. Um, Just when they're on. Yeah. So uh, they're good for getting up to the front lines mm. quickly. And then you got the Nastasha that he's using here, which um, uh, causes anybody that's firing at to slow down. So it's good for hitting oh, scouts because awesome. when you're getting hit, you know how when you go against a, uh, um, go up against a turret, and mm -hmm. it starts like yeah, pushing yeah. you yeah, as yeah. you're trying to run past it. Yeah. Uh oh, got to get back to the other side of the battlefield. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, that's not gonna make it. Didn't. Oh, they tried to do that final push, but yeah, that's what the Nastasha does. So it's really good for taking out guys who are. Yeah, that's who good because oh, that always really pisses me off yeah. when that happens. It has a damage, um, a damage uh, negative though to it, like negative twenty percent. But usually it makes up for it. With uh, it all depends. Like a good player will always switch up their arsenal depending on what the, the battlefield and situation is like. That's a lot of derp. That is a lot of derp. I Holy think it's time crap. to make the push, guys. Seriously. If you feel confident enough, I I would run forward. Leave behind this. It uh, looks like the demo and the pyro have it locked down here. So they are making their push. Let's see what they do. I'm gonna go through here. I think they headed through here. Did they all get killed on the way up or? Oh, uh, there's. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. There's just the demo medic that are now dead. Yeah, this is a lot of corpses out here. I think that the battlefield Yikes. happened. Yikes. The, ba the real battle happened in the middle ground here. They didn't quite make it as far as they wanted. Two spies That's going at each spy other. Spy fight. Spy fight, spy fight, spy fight. Oh, you think they'll kiss? Oh, <laughs> another spy came help. to help him out. Derp's got a lot of spies here. Which and could medics. actually help because of that final little push they have to do there. They just have to um, sneak past and maybe give it a little little tap. A little love tap. A little love. A little tap, tap, tap a -roo. <laughs> Give it a little tap. It's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. Doing the bull dance. <laughs> Feeling the flow. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I thought there was going to be a push there, but it uh, seems like this demo man, uh, uh, Benemo, has it locked <clears> down. <throat> the fisherman teamed up with Crystal Hawk to protect the point. pyro Medi combo. Always feels like an awkward combo to me, but, I mean, it Pyramid? works. Yeah, it works. It just doesn't feel right to me for some reason. It just seems wrong. Like someone big should be in the front. Well, I mean, it seems right to me when it's a, uh, when it's a. Uh, when you're uh, the pyro. <laughs> yeah, but a soldier medi combo seems okay to me. Mm. I just, I don't know. It's something about a pyro and medi that they just shouldn't be together. I don't know why. <laughs> Forbidden love. Yeah, it feels like it. Uh, <laughs> we got these guys are really paranoid too. They keep moving in yeah. case there's a sniper. Yeah. Oh, here comes a scout. Gonna try to light those guys up and different colors up there. If he doesn't get lit up quick. Things, oh, they are in trouble. Uh -oh. They are in trouble. It's oh, good, no. Good and we got a, a Medi was helping them, but it's over. Snarf yeah. takes it for the first the first part of this map. snarf -a All right. When we come back, we're going to go into the second part of this three-part map for the tiebreaker match on Video Games Awesome Live. Team Fortress Awesome.